Hey guys, what's going on? Sam here, and today I'm going to be doing a bit of a different video, and I'm going to be doing my predictions for the end of the season in the Skybet Championship, and who I think will finish where in the top half of the table. Be looking at the automatic pl spots, the playoffs, and the areas below. So let's get straight into it. So I'm just going to—I'm pretty much going to be analysing each team, what I think of them this season, and where I think they will finish. So we'll start from the top. So I think Watford. No, sorry. We'll start from the, the top of the alphabet. So Bournemouth, they've been very good. Well, not I wouldn't say recently, but since for some reason they son suddenly kicked off at one point and they won like eight or nine games in like ten, I think. And they've been really showing some good attacking football and they were decent. They were a decent side when they came to Carroll Road. So I think they've laid a strong claim for the automatic and playoff spots. So I'm just looking at Bournemouth's running. They don't have the hardest run, and I don't think they've only got Middlesbrough and Ipswich in the top eight to play. So I think Bournemouth do have a fairly good chance of going up, looking at their running. But you know, recently they've not like you know properly recently, but in the last sort of ten games they've had a bit of a downslope, and they I think they went on a five winless run. So that's. I think Bournemouth are going to finish fifth because I just don't think that they quite can sustain how good they've been for a long enough. And but you know I'm not <laughs> I don't really know a huge amount about how they play, so this is obviously going to be quite opinionated. But I think Bournemouth will finish fifth. So next one, Derby, the side we did play at Cow Road a couple of days ago. They were they weren't that great at Cow Road, if I'm honest, but they were missing some key players, and I think were wanting the point instead of going for all three and maybe losing three or four nil but Derby have been another decent team this season they play some nice football they move the ball quickly they don't play sort of ugly kind of football so I think Derby to be honest are going to be a very very strong contender for automatic and I'll put them down as third in my predictions because looking at their running they've got Middlesbrough, Wolves, Watford and Brentford to play in the next five games so I think if they can win four four of them, then I think they might have a chance of getting the autos. But otherwise, if they don't win them, I think they're probably going to have to sell for the playoffs. Because of their recent injuries, they have struggled a little bit. I think that's four games without a win, thanks to the Norwich game. So I think once they get those key players back, they'll be on course, maybe. And I, I definitely think they'll make the playoffs, though. I don't think they'll have a problem with that. This so next team, then. Watford. So Watford are the team I'm backing to win the league. I'd rather back Norwich, but I think I'm backing Watford the most. If you've seen their recent form, then they have been really good. Apart from their defeat to Norwich, I think they've only lost one in eight, and they've won the other six. They've won six and drawn one. So Watford, for me, I think are the most likely team to win the league. They've got very strong firepower in Abdi and Troy Deeney, and they seem to be scoring goals for fun, and they seem to you know brush teams away without any real problems. So I'm backing Watford too win the league. Looking at their running, they do have Ipswich, Derby and Middlesbrough still to play in their final eight games. So they've got some key games, really, but I think if they can win two or three of them, then they'll be on course to win the league. Because otherwise they've got a much easier run with the likes of Wigan, Millwall, Birmingham, Brighton and Sheffield Wednesday to play. So I'm thinking that it'll be Watford who takes that top spot this season. So next team then, Middlesbrough, of course they're on the back of a 4-1 win over Ipswich going into their match against Derby on Tuesday so I'm sure they'll be quite confident of getting something there but of course I'm not going to be previewing that game anyway, why would I do that but anyway, Middlesbrough this season I don't think anybody really expected them to be contending but they seem to have a very 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 strong defence, excuse the varies and they've got some decent players up front like Patrick Bamford so Middlesbrough have laid a pretty strong claim on they've been in the top five to six for the, pretty much the whole season now so I think they they will definitely stay there but looking at their running they don't have they have a very tough running they got Ipswich, Derby, Bournemouth, Watford, Wolves and Norwich all still to play so that's why I don't think they're going to finish in the auto spots I'm backing them to finish fourth though because I think they'll win most of their key games hopefully not against Norwich because otherwise they've got Wigan, Rotherham, Fulham and Brighton so I think they'll win all four of those games so I'm, I'm backing Middlesbrough to finish fourth 
and yeah, so I can't see them getting out of the playoffs because they've got much. They've been they look much better than a bottom bottom, much better than a team below sixth place. Next team then, Brentford. Well, Brentford recently have taken a bit of a blip. Well, not they're a bit like kind of Bournemouth. They've won a few games now, but but they did lose yesterday. And just in the last ten games, they've had a blip, but pretty much because of what's been happening at their club. I don't know a huge about amount amount it I think it's just something to do with their manager leaving the club because their owner wants to play a different style of football but I'm not going to be backing Brentford to finish in the playoffs although they actually have the a much easier run in with Nottingham Forest and Derby the only teams inside the top eight to play I just don't think that Brentford will be able to sort of be concentrating the same as they have recently so I, like they lost to Cardiff yesterday for example so I'm not going to be backing Brentford to finish in the top six. But, you know, you never really know of a team like Brentford because when they came to Norwich, I don't think anybody expected them to get the points. So they could go... I think if they can win six or seven of their last eight, then they will finish in the playoffs, but otherwise I don't think so. So I'm not, I think Brentford will be either seventh or eighth. So next team then, Ipswich. Of course, a team I don't like, but maybe in regret I am... I think Ipswich are just going to sneak the playoff spot. I think they're going to sneak sixth, sixth spot. And the reason that, because they do win games, and I mean, they don't play a great style of football in my opinion, but they, they do win games as they have shown earlier in the season, and their running isn't... Well, actually, looking at it now, it's, it's, it's about average, really. They've got Watford, Bournemouth, Wolves, and Forest still play inside the top eight, but otherwise, they have... Bolton, Huddersfield, Blackpool, Cardiff and Blackburn so I think Ipswich will finish top six maybe <laughs> I kind of hope they don't but I think they do they can win all the key games so that's why I'm backing them to finish in the top six and they've got some they've got a couple of good players for example Daryl Murphy and a couple of creative players they've taken a blip recently because a lot of teams seem to have taken a bit of a blip so I think that Ipswich will just sneak playoff spot maybe not by many points though Okay, so next team, Wolves. Team that have been there or thereabouts all season, lurking around the top eight. Team I don't think many people expected to do well, considering they just come up from League One, but they've been a been a good team this season. Wolves, they played us on the opening day and they beat us 1-0, but luckily we got a revenge and won 2-0, but I didn't go to that game, so I didn't really get a chance to see how good they are. But they seem to be like Ipswich, they win games, they win the sort of important games, and you know they get the job done. And... But looking at their their running, they have Derby, Nottingham Forest, Middlesbrough and Ipswich to play in the top eight. So I don't think I'm going to be back in Wolves to finish in the top eight this season. Mainly because, because I just can't see them winning those important games. I just think those other teams are better than them and I just don't think they'll win. But, you know, I could be wrong because I haven't really seen Wolves play a huge amount. So, you know, anything could really happen in the league as we have seen this season. So, yeah, that's Wolves. I think they'll be seventh or eighth. So then, I'll now do. I'll just quickly go do Nottingham Forest. I think they're on fifty-four points, and they are seven points outside sixth. And I think that Forest could could maybe just get close to the playoffs, but I just, but I don't think. I think they're too far adrift. And although they've got some decent players, I don't think they can recover seven points in the time of eight games. So I don't think Forest are going to be finishing in the top six. But if they hadn't have had that terrible mid-season run like Norwich I'm sure they'd be right up near the auto spot so it's pretty bad for them in some ways so finally then Norwich for once I'm actually quite confident I think Norwich are just going to scrape second and the reason I think that is because our running isn't hugely difficult we only have Middlesbrough to play inside the top eight so I don't think that I think Norwich will beat Middlesbrough and the style of play we've been seeing them play recently has given us fans a lot of confidence and I mean the running it's no such thing as easy but you know they're from teams down the bottom of the table so I think that if we can keep playing that awesome style of football that we have recently then we do have a good shot at, at automatic promotion but mainly I've gone for Norwich because a lot of the other teams have hard run-ins and the main thing is they're playing each other which means they're all going to be dropping points at one stage so Norwich are only either going to be dropping points to a team near them at one point which would be Middlesbrough or maybe even Nottingham Forest next Saturday. But yeah, I'm back in Norwich to finish second. 
I really hope I'm right. I could be terribly wrong with all these predictions, but let's see anyway. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you got be feel free to post your predictions about the top eight down below. Remember, this is quite opinionated, and I'm a Norwich fan, so I probably may be a bit biased towards other teams. But don't take that personally at all. I just hope you enjoyed my opinion, and yep, I will see you next time.